situation like if we take a situation like s versus t graph is plotted something like this if i pick any point here p if i pick any point here q if i want to say the nature of the instantaneous velocity at the point p and point q i can say like i will draw a tangent to that particular point p and with the reference line i'll take the tangent angle theta so this theta is less than 90 degrees so slope at this point is nothing but tan theta because it is s versus t graph if it is tan theta less than 90 degrees tan theta is always positive that means at this particular point velocity of the particle is positive is positive and at this point q if i want to check the velocity nature same tangent if i take and this angle will be the angle of tangent which is more than 90 and we know more than 90 tan theta value will be negative for that case velocity of the particle at q will be a negative value so we can classify the nature of velocity may be increasing or decreasing or positive negative constant whatever it is by using the concept of slope in case of instantaneous velocities like the conclusion is tan theta or the tangent angle drawn to the point in a graph is always the slope of that graph at that point if it is s versus t graph that is nothing but instantaneous velocity so slope of the graph is instantaneous velocity in case of s versus t graph if i replace this s versus t graph into velocity versus time graph then tan theta will be dv by dt which will be instantaneous acceleration related to that there was a question in 2021 20, paper need paper let us discuss about that after this yeah just now we discussed about the concept of slope and instantaneous velocity related to that there is a question which was asked in previous need exam 2021 so the question is the displacement time graph of two moving particles makes angle of 30 and 45 degrees with x axis as shown in the figure the ratio of their respective velocity is very simple we just discussed that slope is nothing but tan theta is nothing but d y by dx if it is s versus t graph if it is s versus t graph this is nothing but ds by dt so what we are calculating it is nothing but instantaneous velocity only so simply we can write velocity of the first particle to the velocity of the second particle ratio if i take according to the graph that is nothing but slope of the first curve to the slope of the second graph ratio only what is the slope here first graph if i take tan 45 divided by this angle tan 30 second one tan 30 then tan 45 is 1 is to tan 30 you can take like sin 30 1 by 2 divided by cos 32 by root 3 from this we can write 1 by root 3 which will be root 3 so the correct answer is 1 is to root 3 so the slope when the slope is given or the graphical expression is given for instantaneous velocity or instantaneous acceleration remember always slope of that graph is equals to tan theta is nothing but the instantaneous velocity if it is s versus t instantaneous acceleration if it is v versus t thank you yeah now it's time to discuss about the strategy of need paper if you see the previous papers of medical exams like apmt and jipmer in 2013 14 time the physics part was a little different in the sense like like complex questions were there but after 2015 and 2016 completely neat neat strategy changed only because of making the students to prepare towards the neat exam if you see 21 22 23 papers of neat particularly physics part very simple questions were asked like almost ncrt level but the only thing is the student have to have the idea what to prepare and what to not prepare like what are covered in the syllabus which type of questions they asked previously and which type of approach of the solving questions is required if you can focus on these particular things definitely you can crack the neat exam 
easily with very good percentile in physics chemistry and also biology many students will have the complexity in physics only because of not understanding the thing that not understanding if you underline that is not actually not understanding it is not showing the interest when you are showing the interest towards physics to understand the physics to listen the physics class to explore the physics problems to solve the physics questions definitely physics becomes very simple i promise you it will be even easier than biology but the thing is you have to choose a right institute with a right teacher where the individual focus on each and every student is there like our academy you know we produced very good result in very short period of time like last year we produced nearly some 15 medical seats out of very few students like approximately some 50 students written the exam out of which we we have uh, we have got the result of 15 medical seats so like this type of institutes where the teachers and student interaction happens very clearly and very nicely you can understand the concepts and you can really get good marks in physics and other subjects also and <clears throat> the strategy of preparation must be like well defined like when you are preparing for something you must have a plan about it like what to prepare and what to not to prepare as i told you and that can be done only with the experienced staff when you choose an institute with experienced teachers like our academy where the teachers are having very good experience and sound knowledge in respect to subjects where they worked in very bigger institutes are doing good here so you can think of it and definitely you can join with us and we are going to start crash course in by march 23rd thank you